Greetings Highlanders fans and welcome to GoHighlanders.com's coverage of the 2012 UC Riverside women's tennis team. The preseason is in full swing and the season opener is quickly approaching, so we sat down with head coach Mark Henry to get his take on the upcoming season. Coach, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Before we talk about the 2012 season, let's briefly look back at 2011. What were your thoughts at the conclusion of the season with regards to the team's play and outlook for the future? Uh, at the end of the season, we had some, we played pretty well, improved, um, had some disappointing losses, but the outlook for the future is, is really bright. Four returners, um, all playing well by, by the end of the year last year, so I'm looking forward to a good year this year. You lost two seniors from last year's team, Angelique Corpus and Nadia Sacricorn. Who do you see stepping up and replacing their roles this season? Well, I think everybody's going to step up. I mean, four returners, like I said, experience and uh, really improving well. We have two new players, and I think and I think the combination well, they'll be able to step in, and, and the team should be improved this year over last year. Can you highlight some of your returners from last year who you see making an impact this season? Uh, well, they all they all will make an impact, um, and probably from the from the fall results. The biggest improvement is, is Natalie McKay. Um, played four fours last year and, and had some good results in the fall and played played very well. So she's she's one to look for big things from this year. Uh, we have Taylor Rainey. She played number one last year, um, working on her consistency, and I, ex I expect that she'll come come back better this year than she was last year. Jamie Rainey had some injuries, uh, has really been playing well in the fall. Uh, both of them will be somewhere in the, in the top players in the lineup. Kate, Kate Bergeson, who played six last year, had a pretty good fall, played some good matches, uh, and I expect her to, be, her to be improved and do better things this year um, as well. And you, you mentioned your two newcomers, Courtney and Kat. Can you tell us a little bit about their games and what they're going to bring to the courts? Sure. Both of them, both of them have nice aggressive all-court games they're both very competitive um, they're going to help the team in, in many ways this, this coming season cat uh, is a transfer so she's already got some college tennis um, under her belt so, so i'll probably expect bigger things sooner from her uh, courtney a freshman um, did some really good things in the fall and, and they both have potential to really really help us this year singles and doubles how do you think that the fall season played out, and how, how is that going to carry into the spring? Uh, fall season went about like normal. Like I said, Natalie probably distinguished herself the most in the fall, had a, had a good fall. Um, everybody else, not too bad, but kind of more of what I expected. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll see the first couple of weeks of practice, uh, how much improvement they've done since the fall tournaments. San Diego State is the opponent in the season opener on January 21st. You also have matches against UNLV and Loyola Marymount and other ranked opponents during your non-conference schedule. What would you say is your philosophy in regards to scheduling your non-conference opponents? Well, with non-conference teams, I like to get a range of matches that are really tough down to matches that, are, that, that we have a chance to win um, just because I want us to get ready for the conference schedule. And our conference schedule will be very much like that. A lot of good teams in the conference, so I like to make sure that we play teams teams that are strong outside of conference to get us ready for the best teams in the conference. And how do you think the Big West is going to look this year, and where do you see the Highlanders fitting in? Uh, Big, Big West looks good and it always and keeps getting better. Um, I mean, last year through the season, seven of the nine teams were ranked at some point in the season. Uh, so it's, a, so it's a very tough conference. I think we have the potential to, to do some good things and, and win some conference matches, but uh, until we get in there and until we get a few matches played, um, who knows? But I'm looking forward to a, a better season this year than we've had for probably a few. Well, great. Thanks so much for your time, Coach. Good luck in the season opener and throughout the 2012 season. Thanks. The UC Riverside women's tennis home season gets underway on Thursday, February 2nd, as CSU Bakersfield travels to the Inland Empire for a 2 p.m. start. Tickets are free for all spectators. 
but for additional information, please visit GoHighlanders.com or contact the Athletics Department at 951-827-5432.